Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. Well, not necessarily in the beauty stash today or the beauty room today. I'm actually filming this intro over here in my office and um, we're going to be trying out a brand new, a brand new brand to my stash, but not a new brand to the market. And I'm talking about Thrive Cosmetics. I purchased their new Buildable Blur HD Concealer last week, and since this was my first time purchasing from the brand, I decided to get a couple little other things just to try it out. Now, this concealer was recently released. Um, I want to say it was released, it was less than a week ago, and I picked up the shade Fair Warm. On its own, it retails for $28, but I'll get into all of those details in a bit. Um, I decided, because they had this together as a set, so they had their um, Filtered Effects Soft Focus HD Setting Powder in a little set with the concealer, and together this came out to $57, which is a little bit cheaper if you were to buy them separately. So I really like that option because I'm new to the brand, I've never tried anything from them before, and I thought this would be a nice little kit to discover Thrive Cosmetics and see how I like it. I also picked up their very popular mascara. This is the the um, Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara, and it's going to provide length and volume. I totally forgot to put this on this morning, so I'm going to have to use this in another video. But um, this is a really popular mascara. I think this is like the tubing mascara to where it's really going to like coat your lashes and they're really going to look like you're wearing falsies, but you're not. And let me just show you what the brush or the applicator looks like there. So it is one of those um, like plastic type of applicators. It's not necessarily a brush, but um, the tube itself is really pretty. Look, it matches my wall back there. Really, really nice. So I'm really anxious to try this out. I've heard more good than I have bad about it. Um, and the YouTubers that I watch that enjoy this mascara, their lashes look great. So, um, I'm sure this is going to do just fine, but I definitely will have to give you guys an update on this in a later video. Today is going to be all about um, mainly the concealer, but also trying the setting powder and um, seeing how that wears on my 39-year-old normal to oily skin. Just a quick background for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I hope you guys consider subscribing before you leave. And um, I'm 39 years old. I do have normal to oily skin, oily primarily in my T-zone. My major concerns right now are the fine lines under my eye area and my large pores. So I'm really excited to try this concealer because it says it's going to be crease proof, waterproof, and that it's going to give a blurred effect to the under eye area or to wherever you apply it. But my major thing is the under eye area. Now, let me quickly give you guys some details about this new uh, buildable blur concealer from Thrive Cosmetics. It says that, of course, it's going to conceal the dark circles, the blemishes. It also says that it's going to be crease proof. All right. It says that it's going to be a buildable coverage um, that's going to smooth fine lines and restore moisture to the skin. So I'm all about that. Those claims sound fantastic when we're talking about the under eye area. This does come in 24 different shades. Um, you can find it right now on the Thrive Cosmetics website. I want to say that is the only place that you can get it at the moment. I know Ulta sells, I think Ulta sells this mascara, but they sell it in store. I don't think they have this online. I'll have to double check. Um, but right now I'm just going to link it to Thrive Cosmetics, their website. Uh, if you decide to purchase it, the link will be in the description box. It is not going to be an affiliate link, but some of the other links I include might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping through those, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. And guys, when you're watching this intro, I have had this makeup on for over 10 hours. So if you like the way it looks, you definitely want to stay tuned uh, to the end of the video so that you can hear my final thoughts on these products. But I am doing a 
10 hour wear test today. On one eye, I'm just going to wear the concealer by itself. And on the other eye, I'm going to be wearing it with the um, HD or the Soft Focus HD setting powder also from Thrive Cosmetics. Just a heads up, I am going to be applying the powder pretty much to the rest of my face minus one of the under eye areas. Um, so I'll definitely give you an update on how I like the powder and what I think about it. And of course the mascara, we're gonna have to talk about this in another video because I totally forgot to apply it this morning. All right guys, so let's get started with today's video. If y'all wanna see the new Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur HD Creaseless Concealer in shade Fair Warm, don't remember if I mentioned that, in action, keep on watching. All right, so I just applied my foundation and for primer I went in with Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer and then for foundation I went in with one of my favorites at the drugstore and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear uh, shade 420 on this one and that's what I have going on on my face. So let's jump into uh, this new one from Thrive Cosmetics. I'm so excited because I've never tried anything from Thrive before. This is a Buildable Blur HD Creaseless Concealer. It also says that it's going to be waterproof, of course crease-proof, and um, it's just going to make wherever we put it look great. <laughs> it's a tiny, it's a small doe foot applicator, and uh, again, I'm wearing the shade Fair, Fair Warm, right? Yeah, Fair Warm. All right. And I'm going to be doing one side without powder and then one side with the Thrive powder that came as a little bundle with the concealer as well. I'm really excited to try that out, but wow, a lot, a lot does come out on the applicator. So let's see. Now it does say it's buildable coverage, but we'll see how, let's see how that goes. I might not need to go in with more. I think the shade is great. It's definitely um, like a highlighting shade on me. And they do say if you want it to be like a highlighter shade to go down two shades. All right, so I think that that did a pretty good job of diminishing. Look, I have the line of the pillow. It's really early in the morning, guys. I'm getting ready to go to work. All right, let me do the other side now. And I think I'm going to powder this right side. There's no scent either because I don't smell anything with it, which is good, especially because you're putting it around the eye area. All right, so I think it looks looks fine. Looks like a regular concealer. Let me add a little bit on my forehead. And then right here down my nose. I'm gonna do a little bit right there, have a little blemish on that side, just to kind of brighten those areas. It feels really creamy, but it doesn't feel very thin either. Like there's, there's a little bit of weight to it, but not like like a full thick concealer, if you know what I mean. It just feels like it, a concealer is going to provide good coverage, and I believe it is. It looks like it is. All right, so let me take a closer look at it. I think it looks good. Looks nice. I like the way it complements um, the foundation shade. I'm thinking, do I wanna add a little bit more into my eye area? I'm gonna add just a smidge. I always do that. I always feel like, and I'm just gonna kind of wipe this off because you do get a lot of product right off the bat. Let's put some down here. All right. So good, happy with the coverage, happy with the finish of it. I would say it's more, I don't feel like it's completely matte. I think it's more of maybe like a, I think it's more of like a natural finish. And this is also gonna act as an eye cream, as an eye serum, it says, because it has their proprietary blend of ingredients and it says um, it's gonna be buildable skincare first formula that visibly smooths fine lines and restores moisture. So I'm all about that, especially for under the eye area. All right, so let's go into the powder. Like I said earlier, they came together in a little, little kit, a little pack up. 
And this is the translucent powder. It says uh, filtered effect soft focus HD setting powder. And it's going to provide a matte finish. This is what the powder looks like. And it does have this cap that stays on as a little net in here as well. So I'm going to get, I want to try going in with a dry sponge. And I'm going to use that uh, Tati Beauty Blendiful. And I'm just going to powder under the right eye. Now let me go ahead and powder my nose. And then down my chin, my smile lines. And of course, my forehead. Yeah, I can definitely see how it's mattifying, especially on the forehead. And I didn't smell anything with the powder either. Like, it just didn't smell like nothing, which is great. All right. Okay, so it's definitely looking more matte under the eye area on this side versus this side. I mean, I think they both look pretty good. But you can definitely see that one looks, you know, more set than the other but then this one this one doesn't really feel tacky anymore like it's pretty much dried down so hmm, I'm gonna be interested I'm gonna be interested to see how this is going to wear over the next 10 hours and you guys know I'll be doing my periodic check-ins throughout the day letting you see how this is wearing on my 39 year old normal to oily skin um, so I need to finish getting ready for work guys I am gonna obviously do the rest of my makeup but I will be back later this afternoon to give you guys the first check-in of the day of the new Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur HD Creaseless Concealer so I'll talk to y'all in a bit Hey guys, this is the five hour check-in with the new Thrive Cosmetics uh, Buildable Blur HD Concealer. This is the side with the powder and this is the side without the powder. I think both sides look pretty good, but I'm gonna have to give it to the side with the powder right now. I feel like it really does look a bit more blurred than the side um, without, but neither side is really like settling into the fine lines it really is laying nicely on my skin i don't feel like there's any cakiness i don't feel like i've lost any coverage pretty happy with it and i'm pretty happy with the shade fair warm i think it is the perfect complement to my foundation and to my skin tone and so far so good still has a few more hours to go though so i will be back a little bit later All right, guys, we've come to the end of today's wear test with the new Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur Concealer. This is the side with setting powder. And then this is the eye without setting powder. And then, of course, I have it in the center of my face, down my nose. My nose right here, the mask has rubbed off some of the makeup. And, of course, I applied it to my chin. But aside from my nose, I think the rest of my makeup looks pretty good. It's pretty much intact. All right, guys. So let me give you my thoughts on this concealer. Uh, again, I am wearing the shade Fair Warm, and there are 24 shades available in this um, new concealer from Thrive. I prefer, and I think I mentioned this in the midday check-in, I like the side with a powder. I feel like it looks more blurred. Nothing settled into my fine lines. I didn't lose coverage. I just think it looks really, really nice, and I really enjoyed wearing this setting powder with it. Now, if you pick it up, do you need to get the setting powder? No. If you have a setting powder that you enjoy using, then try pairing it with this. I'm sure it's going to work out fine. On this eye, it doesn't look too bad, but you can definitely see right here where it has settled into the fine lines versus this side. I didn't do that. So I think you can clearly see that from one eye to the other, the settling into those fine lines. I still have the coverage. I mean, it's still there. And if you don't have a lot of fine lines under your eyes, then you know what? You might not need to set this. For me, I'm 39. Those fine lines are just slowly creeping in more and more each day. I definitely feel this is going to be a concealer that I'm going to enjoy much more when set. Now, my forehead looks great. My nose looks great, minus the rub off. 
the chin, everywhere else it looks fine. I really did enjoy using the powder. I can't wait to try this powder with other concealers and other foundations in my stash. It didn't get cakey. It didn't cause my makeup to break up and get funky texture or anything like that. It just worked really well and I felt it did a good job of keeping me matte in my T-zone for pretty much the entire day because I have not touched up at all. And I think the only place I'm oily is just right here on my nose. And that's not bad. Not bad for a little over 10 hours of wear. I'll take it. So I have to say that my very first experience with Thrive Cosmetics is definitely a good one. This is a fairly lightweight concealer. I don't want to say it's super lightweight because it does have that coverage, but it's not like a, a heavy, like cakey, makeup-y feeling concealer. You're definitely going to get some good coverage, a brightening effect, a smoothing effect, especially when used in conjunction with your favorite setting powder. So guys, for $28, there are 24 different shades to choose from. I would recommend getting the setting powder and getting it like in the little kit because I think you do save about maybe five seven dollars when you buy them together it was 57 for this kit um and you know if it's your first time trying the brand I think this is a nice way to do it and I'm really excited to be trying out this mascara I'm definitely going to wear it tomorrow I can't believe I forgot to put it on this morning but Anyway, guys, uh, this new Thrive Cosmetics Concealer and, of course, the setting powder. Setting powder is not new, but they are both getting a thumbs up from me. I absolutely enjoyed using it. And, guys, I don't think I showed you this, but this is the bag that it came in. It came with a little reusable makeup bag, and I am always in need of bags this size. It has a zipper up here, and then um, it says, Live Life in Full Bloom. How pretty is that? I really like the bag, and I know it's nothing special you could probably find these at the dollar store but it's a nice gesture it's a nice gesture when um they can include something extra with your order all right guys so now it's time for me to hear from you what do you guys think of thrive cosmetics have you tried this brand before what are your favorite Thrive Cosmetics products? What do you think I should try? Or are you new to the brand like me? Are you interested in trying this concealer? Leave it all in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink that water. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.